Jujutsu Kaisen is for the streets. The hood love it. They got it right next to their boys in the hood and Scarface. When we saw Nanami die, we was pulling out the 40 ounces. What's poppin' it, Shaman? And I'm telling you now, Jujutsu Kaisen will teach you this hood etiquette. And one of the biggest ways to stay alive out here is to not piss off the nice guy. Seems simple, right? It's like something that you should know naturally. But there's a few people out there, special cases that push they luck and then get pushed back. And this low life Mahito is about to learn that today. See, Mahito's pastime is torturing this pure nice guy Yuji by mutilating humans to getting his homie moms killed to killing his homie in front of him and then laughing about it. And then Yuji and Nami jump him so bad it ends up on Urban Dictionary. Now you see in most scenarios, this would really knock some sense into you. But in Mahito's case, him getting the two man run on him gives him like a sexual awakening or something. And with this, Mahito is forever in love with torturing Yuji, just wanting to ruin his life any way possible. So now fast forward into present day in the Shibuya arc, Mahito's main objective is to ruin Yuji's life. I mean, this man goes and kills everybody that this man loves and cares about. Putting Gojo in a pack, killing this man's sensei right in front of him, and even killing his teammate who probably had like six whole lines of dialogue through the whole series. And man, killing this universe's 1010 was too much for Yuji to bear. Mind you about all this happened after Sukuna just made Yuji kill all all of Shibuya. So this man Yuji just start breaking down, crying, can't even take it anymore. Just wanted to give up. See, this should have been Mahito's sign to stop playing with Yuji because this is a sign of when the good homie starts breaking down, the big homie gonna have to step on in. So Toto had to go ahead and motivate Yuji and started putting a pause on this man Mahito. This man was clapping so much you would thought he had a whole bunch of turbulence. But seeing his bro stand up for him, Yuji Yuji got to stand up for himself as well. And this is where Mahito goes crosses a line of no return because now this goes from a one man standing up for your bro altercation to a jumping. And when the guy you've been picking on ain't afraid of you no more is when you lose all control because they send this man Mahito through the floor, which is giving me PTSD flashes from a jumping I have seen long ago. And I am telling you now, Mahito doesn't have the Iron Man on armor or plot armor because he is about to get that work. And I'm just going to say this for two people who have never trained together. These guys need to start a boy band or something because they stay in sync. Just a Timberlake aside, look at this man. He's not even in the same anime. This man is pulling an all might. Mahito was getting that butt whooped so bad he had to start calling for backup. And Mahito being such an idiot he is not learning a single lesson decides to put all the points in the strength and zero in the defense. So those things went down faster than me in a Fortnite lobby, them things ended up getting one tap. So the battle escalates even further and Mahito feeling the pressure now has to pull out his trump card, the finger bang domain, which ends up costing one of my favorite characters, Toto, to lose his arm. But Mojito over here was so drunk with bloodlust, he was blindsided and shocked to find out Toto was homosexual. Finding out Toto has the power of the LGBTQ plus community, Mojito was shocked as Toto hit him with the K-pop dance routine handing this fight off to Yuji to finish. Now Mahito having to face Yuji all by himself is back into a corner again and starts having another awakening. This time being on some real demon time shit. I mean, just look at him. So this is their final battle. They start throwing hands and things going crazy. Yuji applying the pressure, Mahito applying the pressure. But like I said in the beginning, when you mess with the nice guy and make them have to go crazy, just like when Gon was fighting Pito, Yuji hits this man Mahito with that Rochambeau, making Mahito rethink every decision that he has made up to now. And with Mahito getting the living sense knocked into him, this man Mahito went from menace to mind break tag real quick. Cause this man realized in this moment, Yuji got that dog in him. This man Mahito is no predator anymore, he is prey. And in this single instant, all his furry fantasy started coming out. He thought he was in Beastars or something. Cause this little rabbit was finna get stretched out. And see, this is the lesson of when
when you play too much as Mahito was over here wanting to change every life decision he ever made. This man folded under pressure. This man fell from grace so hard that this man even went to Mr. Claps a lot and asked if he could just exalt him. And when you ask the mad genius of back shots to eat you up, I mean, you was just never really about that life. And Mr. Whole Bunch of Turbulence over here, I'm gonna have to say for another video. And if y'all wanna see that, comment down below and like this video and let me know. But let this be a lesson to you. The nice guy probably in your friend group that takes all the jokes when y'all roasted and doing all this stuff, have fun with him. But when you cross that line, understand, you gonna reap what you sow. So when a homie starts giving you them hands, don't say I didn't warn you. But just like the Boogie Woogie, I'm gonna need y'all to clap that like and subscribe buttons, comment down below, all that good jazz. If y'all wanna see more videos like this, I got a couple for y'all right here. If there's another anime or show that has a situation you want me to talk about, let me know. But I will see y'all next time. Peace.